Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Test Automation Mantras. In today's video, I thought to bring a new topic, Apache JMeter. You must have heard Apache JMeter is used for performance and load testing. However, in today's video, we are going to see a different perspective and usage of JMeter. But before we do that, let's understand what Apache JMeter is and isn't. Apache JMeter is not a browser. It works at protocol level. As far as the web services and remote services are concerned, JMeter looks like a browser. However, JMeter does not perform all the actions supported by the browser. Say for example, it does not execute JavaScript found in HTML pages. Also, it does not render HTML pages as a browser does. So JMeter cannot be used for UI automation testing in the same fashion as you can use Selenium WebDriver and any other UI automation libraries. Let's have a look what we can do with JMeter in today's video. Before you can start using JMeter, you would need to download JMeter from the jmeter.apache.org website. Once you go to that website, you will see a download release on the left menu. Click on that and you will be taken to this page. Under this, there are two sections for downloads. One is binaries and source. You can go for downloading the source zip files. Once you download this, all the executables will get downloaded into this folder. And then you can go and extract that folder. Before you can use JMeter, there's a prerequisite mention which requires Java 8 plus before you use you, you can use Apache JMeter. So make sure that dependency is downloaded as well and Java is installed in your local before you can use Apache JMeter. As I explained, once you download the Apache JMeter, it will be downloaded into this folder. Once you extract, you can go to that location, go to Apache JMeter, 5.6.2 and bin folder. On that path, you will see a file as jmeter.bat. You can double click on that file to open the jmeter. So once you click on jmeter.bat file, this is how the screen is going to look like. This is Apache jmeter GUI, GUI which is a graphical user interface. Now, what we are going to do is we are going to test a simple website. Say, for example, you would like to check if your Google, Google page is up and running and it's accessible. How can you do that? So if you're testing via JMeter, the first thing we'll go through as like how the GI looks like. So when you're opening a jmeter.bat, you have a test plan. You can either start a new one. You go to new. It is going to do the same thing as create as test plan. Um, you can change the name as a Google page test plan. After you rename, you will be able to see um, Google page test plan name is renamed. Right click and add. Once you click on add, you see a different configuration elements here. You have a thread, you have config elements, listeners. We will go through the details one by one. Just to start with, as a simple scenario is to test if Google page is up and running. You can, you have to add a thread group. So go to add threads and user, add a thread group. This is where you define your, all the details about your performance testing. So this is executable with the configuration. We're not going to change anything. We'll keep a number of users as one. We won't open one browser only. Now, next step is to actually call Google uh, Google URL. What you can do is you have to add a simple request here, which is a sampler, which is going to collect your protocol details. So you go to add sampler and HTTP request. This is how the page you see. So this HTTP request is for Google page request. You can leave comments if you want to add, you can add that as well. Web server protocol is going to be HTTPS as Google works on HTTPS. Now you can add uh, google.com, the website base URL. So once you do that, there's no port number is required. 
uh, all done, the next step will be you need to add one more thing in the thread group as results you would like to see. And all the results can be seen from the listener. What you can add, the basic simple listener is a view results tree, which is going to display the results. You don't need to add anything. By default, it just reads the default configuration file um, and default result location and display the results here. So I have added only simple HTTP request sampler and I have added a result tree. Now, if you go back and try to run this, you see it takes few uh, milliseconds. And if you go to view results tree after the execution is completed, if you click on Google page request, you can see this is your response from that get call. So this is your get call, what you have done, HTTPS get, and this is your request headers, what you have sent, and this is what your response looks like. However, in the sampler request, you can see the response code, response code is 200 and response OK. Now we do uh, another way to verify whether are we getting a right response or not. If I just change the URL or server name to something else, appended, I just appended some junk letters here. If I go and try to run it again, if you go and look at the results tree, you see that request has failed. Now, what is the response code return? is known HTTP response code, which is unknown host exception. And what is the host is an unknown host here? It's a google.com 2222. That host is unknown here. So it tells you that request is working fine. Via JMeter, we are able to test whether a request is successful or not. Now, this is, this is very basic test, which you can do on the protocol level. Same thing you can test if you just put HTTP and try to run it again. If you try to run your test again, you will see that request is failing and we can change um, the host back and just keep the protocol error. So if I run it again, go to results tree, you can see here the response is still 200 OK. So it means with that protocol HTTP or HTTPS, the Google is able to um, verify because it internally um, just validates that protocol. Now that's the very um, basic test case on how do you test the protocol, whether it's up and running and are you getting the response you expect.